you know what gets you through a hard week? That sound. That sound behind the church. Whoops, sorry, sorry. I am not a faithful man, however I do have faith in those pipes making me happy after a week of work. Oh yes. I believe in Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pizza for everyone. So, yeah, it's been an interesting week at work. Red is very testy. I've not been able to get to the comments as much as I would have liked. I do apologise. I looked at them on Monday. It's today. Today is Friday. I'm not forgetting. So this will be released on Sunday. Hello. Hello you in the future. How are you? And, yeah, it's... Uh, I feel disappointed by it because, you know, I want to engage with the audience and that sort of stuff. It's just I've been busy, I've been out, I've been doing this, I've been doing that. And then for the rest of the time, I've just been feeling very meh. And so to that end, for what it's worth, I'm sorry. I really am. I know I always sound sarcastic when I say sorry. But I do genuinely mean it. Most of the time. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's been unfortunate. But it is what it is. Life goes on. You collect your paycheck. You go home. It's not worth thinking about too much. The bike, however, oh! Now, um, I took her out the other night because I've been driving the car to and from go-karting, that's been fantastic. It's not, it's not, I hate, I hate driving that car. It's not the car I hate driving, it's the driving which I hate. <laughs> so, unless it was a fabulous Akira Sportage, upon which I am sure, oh no. Oh no, it's not a kid's board. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? That's a shame. We'll find one. We'll find one. It's, uh, yeah, it's just... Taking the car has been a massive convenience, not getting wet and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yesterday it got a flat tyre. Nice. Well, Red, if you wanted to make a lot of noise pulling away from those traffic lights, you sure did. I know, right? It's great. <laughs> So it's, uh, yeah, the car has been a fantastic convenience and unfortunately got a puncture. So when I went go-karting, it's, uh, it's been a wet one. It's been a very wet one to and from. So I had to sort Misty a proper good wash to not only get hopefully all the salt residue off, all the water, all the gunk that comes with it. It's just a bad old time. Bad, bad, bad old time. So for anyone that knows me, for anyone that's stuck around this channel for a while, you know I am a cynical person. I am indeed a cynical boy. And my faith in humanity was once again soured the other night at go-karting because there was a group of young lads and a few of them showed a little bit of uh, irritation at the state of the course and so on and so forth. The guys that danced the ball were a little bit behind because they had an event on and also someone had crashed into the barrier and absolutely destroyed it. How you do that, I don't know, but alas, someone did it. So delays, and unfortunately, they didn't really recover on their schedule. So it is what it is. That's fine. I was waiting for that left indicator to come on there. Oh, I need fuel, fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's one of those things when, when young lads have a way of destroying things because they don't know how to express themselves properly like talk to someone you can tell I'm a little bit irritated can't you but that's exactly what they did rather than talk to the marshals or the staff and you know complain about the slipperiness of the concrete floor below they would have been told there and then oh yeah the concrete floor is slippery it's concrete and it's cold so those tires aren't going to grip too well hmm funny how that works isn't it so yeah, I heard a little bit of discussion about that. They weren't happy, and then one of them, maybe two of them, who knows, decided when they're in the mail changing rooms to rip both the toilet roll dispensers off the walls. Criminal damage. Fantastic. If you don't like your experience somewhere, I know you've paid a lot of money. Oh, and he's just... He's just fucking left it. Oh, what a mug. Oh, no, I'm going to drop my scoot. I'm not going to be bothered to pick it up. You absolute mug. Little things like that have uh, really irritated me. <laughs> but it's important to see the funny side of it, of course. So, 
yeah, it's it's criminal damage, and I, I thought about it, and it's just like, imagine that. Imagine causing criminal damage to a business establishment. Someone's got to fix that. Someone's going to be paid to fix that. More money. la di da Inconvenience. And, of course, if someone is absolutely bursting to go to the toilet, now they have a problem. Ah, it's... It's frustrating, and it sort of goes with this idea that people nowadays, especially some individuals on the internet, let's say, they would rather destroy something because they don't like part of what it is, or the entire thing, rather than just talk about it, you know, have a discussion, just keep a level head and all that sort of stuff, but no, we have emotions! <laughs> Oh, the joys of not having to worry about what side your fuel pump is on. Oh, oh, look at me. Aren't I just absolute scum? <laughs> oh, dear. you got to take the small wins with the losses, haven't you? Thank you for using Pet Pump. Thank you for allowing me not to uh, have to interact with people. Because that's always a major convenience I love. Uh, do, 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 do.